Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am out on a bit of a chase tonight, folks. I am chasing the Aurora Borealis again and here I am. I'm on a motorway bridge at the moment. That's the M6 motorway up here. Sort of Garstang area of Lancashire. If you go towards the north, you get towards Lancaster. I've been up this sort of direction before and it's a Thursday evening around about an hour and a half after sunset and the aurora is lighting up the sky behind me. It looks absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see any hint of it, but I'll tell you, it's bright enough. I can see it with my own eyes right now. There's just a big glow across the sky. When I rocked up here, I rocked up because I wanted to just stop off here. I'm heading towards a location, but I thought I'd just stop here on the way to check the sky because the levels have been into the red on Aurora Watch. I use an app called Aurora Watch UK, and when the levels go into the red, you get a red alert, you know there's a very good chance of the Aurora. Now, we did have a massive CME hit. We knew it was coming. We didn't know when it was going to hit but it's hit pretty much right at a good time, just as it's getting dark. We, we saw the levels go to red just at tea time, a couple of hours before sunset, and we were kind of hoping that the levels would stay up. And they have done, I, my phone's bleeping by the way, there's loads of people sending me messages. But yes, we have got the Aurora Borealis again tonight, Thursday the 10th of October. Um, I'm going to see if I can go somewhere else. I'm looking now, it's lighting up in greens and reds. I can actually see the colour, I can see. And if I look over that way, I can actually see a red colour over there. It looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I've been having a bit of fun uh, taking some pictures from here, from the motorway bridge. But I want to move now. I want to move somewhere a little bit darker, actually. away Because there's quite a few lights around here. And not only that, it's not quite... My phone is still dinging like mad. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to just move somewhere else. But before I do that, I just want to show you another little video that I, I took using my DSLR camera. I've got a 50 millimeter lens on it, f1.8. It's a very fast lens. And I whacked up the ISO and I did a video on there. And it's amazing when you can pick up the Aurora on video. It just goes to show just how bright it is. It's really, really bright. So check out this video and then I'll probably get back on the road again and see if I can find another location. Well, I am just parked up by this road, a bridge that goes across the M6 motorway. You can see some cars going up that way there towards the east. And look at this. Oh, look at that. I can actually video the Aurora. Look at it. Can you see the Oh, there goes the train look. Oh, wow. Train going past at the same time. Wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look. It's the Aurora Borealis over Lancashire. Look, we can see the reds. Look at that right over there. Towards the northwest. Oh, loads of people. Look at all these people here. Well, um, this is what the Aurora does, folks. I'm driving up to another location and look at all these people here that have come out. They've all got the alerts. Yeah, look, look at this. Loads of people up here. I'm quite high up at the moment. I'm just on a bit of a brow of a hill and I want to see if I can just maybe park up here. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. I can just about see Blackpool Tower now out of my... I'll tell you what, let's just go in here, shall we? Hopefully I'll just get in behind this car hopefully oh let's see if i can squeeze in here oh the things that i do eh? okay so i've just moved up to this new location i'm now at a place called nicky nook and um it's quite high up yeah i'm fairly high up here and as i look out of my passenger window i can actually see blackpool tower so i can see blackpool tower it's miles away yeah but I've just taken a quick look outside and the Aurora, it's, there's not really too much structure to it in terms of, you know, the curtains. You know how you get the curtain effect. Well, they can't really see too much of that for now. It just seems to be more of like a, a glow across the sky. But there's loads of people up here. It's brought everybody out. They must be all using the app that I use, Aurora 
Watch UK. It gives me a red gave me a red alert about well, it's around about tea time, and then we were thinking, well, let's hope that this aurora keeps up and stays in the red and it is in the red at the moment i believe it's at something like 850 nt not really too sure what nt means but the higher the number the more chance of uh, seeing the aurora and 850 is a pretty high number so it's definitely visible by the eye but like i say there's not too much structure to it but let's get out now we'll take some more pictures and i'll take a picture of blackpool tower for you as well Okay, I hope you can hear me okay. We're now looking towards Blackpool over there. Now, the aurora doesn't quite go that far. I'm kind of looking towards the south and the west, that direction, so the, the aurora doesn't quite go that far. There might be a little bit of a glow. You can see some clouds above Blackpool there, and it's all lit up with that light pollution. Look at that. But as we pan this way, more towards the west and then the northwest, We'll start to see that glow. Look at that now. Look at that. Wow. Look at that glow. See a little bit of red in there as well. It's kind of looking towards the northwest. That's looking over Lancaster. So you can see the lights of Lancaster down there now. And as I pan more this way, there's still plenty of people up here. Someone's just driven back down. There's, there's quite a glow from over there. That's probably Morecambe and Haysham area. As we look up, we can see stars. We can see the plough there, I believe. Um, let's just go up a bit more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there it is. There's the plough. <laughs> I am using quite a long lens here, a 50 millimetre lens, so there's a look at the plough so we kind of know that we're looking roughly towards the north when we can see that at this time of year anyway not always pointing north but uh, oh by the way you see those two stars there on the end of the plough on the end of the bolt if you go up and we keep going up from there we'll eventually get to the north star eventually i think that might be it right there actually there it is can you see that's a north star there and if i trace that back to those two pointer stars there that are now in the middle of the screen that's how you find the north star from the plan but anyway as we look around this way oh there's a bit of a pillar going on there can you see that there's a bit of a pillar going on just over there but we're now looking as far as i can go i think my van's in the way now <laughs> you can see over that way there We've got constellations rising. Let's have a look up at Cassiopeia. Can we see the W there? Can you see it? There's Cassiopeia, the W. So we're getting a good look round at the aurora. So that's looking towards the north and the east. You can see constellations like Perseus. I think that's Capella, that bright star over there. So this is how it looks. Oh, we've got a pillar developing there. I think I'll take a picture of that, actually. So I'll turn the recording off now and take a picture of that. Okay, check it out, just over there, can you see that? That's the moon, yeah, we've got pretty much a, a half moon tonight. And that's looking virtually to the south and it's not very high up the moon as well at the moment, yeah. The moon is quite low. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's getting a bit chilly up here. It's been a nice day today actually in Blackpool, but it's certainly a little bit more chilly up here than it was back in Blackpool. I think I'll have to put my coat on. I've got my woolly hat on anyway. But how about that? I can actually pick up the aurora. Just goes to show how bright the aurora is when you can pick it up using a video because video frames are very, very fast. And fast frames, you know. And to be able to pick the aurora up, it just goes to show just how bright it is. But I'm going to get the camera out now. I'll take some pictures and uh, let's see how I do.
there goes another car. It's pretty busy up here tonight at Nicky Nook. And I've managed to take some pictures. Uh, I've got a picture. I showed you Blackpool Tower on the video before. I'll, uh, I'll show you a photograph that might be a little bit clearer. But the Aurora goes pretty much, well, it doesn't go all the way to Blackpool because we're looking, we're kind of looking south towards Blackpool. So, but it, it's just, a, the weird thing is, is that this Aurora, compared, I'll just turn this light off, it's a bit, the, the Aurora this time, compared to last time, there doesn't seem to be too much of a structure to it. It's just like a big glow across the sky. And we sometimes get these little pillars. We get these bits of red in there. We had a very bright red spot where I was last time. Uh, but it's it's a very, very strange aurora. It's not moving very much. All I can see across the sky is just a big blob. It's not it's not quite as intense as last time, and we don't have those pillars. And it is going quite high into the sky, but not overhead. And, and last time also, we were seeing it towards the east and the west, which was incredible, really. So we probably would have been seeing it towards Blackpool if it was as strong as it was last time. But it just goes to show that every time you get an aurora display, you never know what you're going to get. And this is a bit of a weird one. OK, I've just nipped into the star bus for a, a well-earned cup of tea there. And, uh, yeah, well... I've managed to get some good photographs. It does seem to have calmed down a little bit. It's gone down to about 400 NT. It was up to about 900 at one point. Um, so I might head off somewhere else now. I might go to Jubilee Tower, which is like a little sort of lookout point. It's like a building. Looks a bit like a small castle thing. Uh, there'll probably be quite a few people up there because it's a very popular place for people to, to go and look at the sights and you can see Blackpool from there. It's just a little bit further up the road. But I think I've done all right tonight. I've got some half-decent pictures. Um, and I think I'll probably leave the video here. But if I do manage to get some pictures later, I'll put them on at the end of this video. But there you go. That was the Aurora. It did it again, folks. Not quite as intense as... May the 10th, I think it was May the 10th, wasn't it, when we had those coronal arches right above our heads. Absolutely amazing. But I think this is probably the strongest display since then. And it might not be over yet because the, the sun is so active at the moment, it's throwing off flare after flare after flare. And it's when those flares hit our magnetic field and then it stretches the magnetic field beyond the Earth, to the beyond the opposite the sun, and then when it reconnects, it all comes flowing back towards the poles. And that's when we get these amazing displays of Aurora Borealis. And we're able to see them so far south, like here in it. I'm sure they can see them in far the, the south coast as well, possibly in France as well, in Europe. So there you go. That was another strong display of Aurora. And it just so happened to come at a good time as well, when it was nice and clear. And at the right time when it was getting dark, because there's been quite a few where it's happened at the wrong time and it hasn't been dark enough. Or maybe the weather's not been great, but it worked out tonight. So there you go. I'm going to leave it there now, folks. Uh, I'll put some pictures on at the end. And if I manage to get any more, I'll stick those on as well. But that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to keep looking up. Okay, I'm not too sure if you can hear me. I've just added this bit in at the end. I've come up here to Jubilee Tower, which is sort of near Garstang. And I'm not too sure if you can see this, but we have got the Aurora overhead. It's just like it was the last time. Absolutely incredible. It is kicking off all around. It's just after midnight now. I've been out for, well... I must have been out for about four hours now and it is looking absolutely awesome. It's kicking up all over the sky. 
it's right overhead as well it is incredible i'll have to show you the pictures 